So, you know, uh, what happens is there are various research companies such as Cisco Talos, MX Toolbox, Virus Total, uh, Alien World, Checkpoint. There are various research companies which always does the research to check it out which all IPs might be involved in any kind of suspicious activities. Means they, they check it out, they do the research on blacklisted IP address and then collect those IP address. Get a mind? So not only IP address, these research company do not collect only IP address, they collect all suspicious IP address, domain, email ID, hash value, etc. as well as URL which might be involved any any kind of suspicious activities yes or no email id might be involved in sending malware email phishing email spam email yes or no uh, any uh, domain url which is hosted malware malware content on the website phishing content hash value hash value of the malicious files yes or no URL, email ID, IP address, right? So set of these data we call as, what do we call as? Threat feeds or threat intelligence. Threat feeds or threat intelligence. It Threat feed or threat intelligence is nothing but the set of IP address, domains, URL, email ID, hash value, etc., which might be involved, which is collected by the various research companies and which might be involved in any kind of suspicious activities. That data we call as threat feeds or threat intelligence or global threat intelligence. Understand? So we should monitor threat intelligence data in our company. Every company, if we have the same, we should monitor threat intelligence in our company. To ensure that what are the IP address, email ID, domain, email ID, domains, or IP address, right? URLs involved in any kind of species duty. If we have any communication coming or going towards those data, we should get an alert, we should monitor it. Might be it's kind of compromise activities or attack attacking activities. Isn't it? So we should collect those data. So these research companies, you know, uh, populate this data. And previously, five, six years back, we used to download this data for free. But nowadays, you understand? Everything is paid. There are some websites which give the free information, but maximum date this threat intelligence data is paid one. So that means you have to pay to download this data. So that we can put in the form of list here. Yes or no? And monitor. So this, this particular rule is based on the IP address threat feed. Understand? But we should monitor. So IP address communication we are monitoring here. Inbound. Similarly, we can create for outbound also. Or we can include inbound and outbound both under or condition on the same role. Under or condition. Yes or no? Means successful connection to, to uh, from or towards blacklist IP. Successful connection uh, from or towards blacklist IP. That means if my internal system is connecting outside to any of these threat, uh, threat feed data or suspicious IP, we should get an alert or any connection coming in towards this particular set of IP address, we should get an alert, right? So we are using IP-based threat intelligence data, IP-based. Yes or no? Similarly, we can create for email also, for uh, uh, for uh, URL also, based on the proxy logs. Hash value also based on antivirus logs. Get in mind? So this kind of data is called as threat intelligence. Threat intelligence, threat feed is not a confirmed data means it's a probable data, not confirmed. The list of IP address which was showing as blacklisted, it is not 100% confirmed that those IP are 100% involved in malicious activities. It's the probable data based on the research. For example, you received an email. 100 of people have received an email, right? From one of the email. And out of that, 10 people have reported this particular email ID is like looks phishing. This particular email looks phishing. For example, you get an email on Gmail, right? You have the option report, phishing report, phishing option, report, spam option in the Gmail you have. If multiple people report that particular spam, uh, mail is spam, it will start flagging as spam. And research company will also get the data from the Gmail and Gmail will tell that, Google will tell that it's the spam email ID. 
So there are various ways to do the research and collect those data. Yes or no? But but that is not, it is based on people understanding. It's not always confirmed data. That, okay, okay, that particular IP address is 100% is suspicious IP address or 100% involved in any kind of malicious or suspicious activities. It's the probable data. Understand? There is another kind of list data we call as IOCs. IOC. IOC means indicator of compromise. Indicator compromise also, I will ask you to write. I will ask you to write both. Indicator of compromise is nothing but the again list of IP address, URL, uh, uh, email ID, domain name, hash values. Again, the same list, but it's a confirmed list. Instead of IP address and everything, which have been involved in recent cyber attack. Get in mind? That we call as IOC. Some attack happened in recent companies. We'll collect those data. What kind, what email they have used to send a phishing email. So that system has been compromised. What IP address they have used. Or what is the file has? What is the URL people have accessed and downloaded malware? Attack vector. Attack vector, right? We'll collect those information and we'll monitor those information in our environment also. If any connection going, coming in and going out toward those attack vector, we should get an alert. We should monitor it. Attack vector means IP address, which is involved IP address or uh, IP address or email ID or local attack vector. You know? so, uh, so, so we should monitor in our environment also. Yes or no? So these IOCs we collect from various news community updates sites. From where you got the attack information, right? There you may see that they have also mentioned what is the IP address from which IP address attack has come. Or the malware email has been delivered from using which email ID. So might be possible that attacker may try to our company also. Yes or no? So we can monitor those data, any incoming or outbound, inbound or outbound traffic from or towards those threat vector, threat and uh, that IOCs, we should get an alert. Yes or no? So what happens is this IOC based rule we, we create, right? And whenever there is an attack, major attack, we run those rules in the hysterical logs. After adding the threat intelligence data on the rule, what happens is we'll create a list and we'll keep adding those data on the list. And that then we'll run those rules on the historical logs because just now we have had added IP address. Maybe yesterday or before we had some connection, but since we have not added on the list on the rule, alert did not trigger. So we run this rule after adding those data, we run those rules in the historical logs to check if any matches are found. Understand? So threat intelligence, uh, means, which is also called a threat feed, right? It's a probable list of data. While IOC is a confirmed list, which have been used in any recent cyber attack. Yes or no? So this rule is based on threat feed. Similar rule you can create based on the IOC also. Understand? Let's write what is threat intelligence. What is threat intelligence? What is threat intelligence? Slash global threat intelligence. Slash threat feed. Slash threat feed. Threat feed. Threat feed. Threat feed. Okay. Threat feed. Written? Answer. It is nothing but the. It is nothing. But the set of IP address, set of IP address, domain name, set of IP address, domain name, URL, URL. Email ID, hash value, hash value, 
हैज वैल्यूज हैज वैल्यूज एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा ईटीसी which might be involved which might be involved which might be involved which might be involved in any kind of suspicious activities which might be involved in any kind of suspicious activities which might be involved in any kind of suspicious activities understand now from where we collect this information right so uh, this data is being collected is being uh, we uh, oh, no, no, no. Uh, in next paragraph you write there are various research companies there are various research companies there are various research companies which does the research in collecting this data in collecting threat intelligence data in collecting threat intelligence data <clears throat> you understand yes or no yes sir yes sir understand right so threat intelligence data is a probable list not confirmed list right it those sort of ip address email id hash values url domain name might be involved in any kind of suspicious activities but not confirmed that's the reason whenever alert trigger right it's not a high security because it's not a confirmed list we have to again recheck in various site and check which company and country it belongs to right again reputation we have to check yes or no because and sometimes it is false positive might be i belongs to good company and research company has identified as a species understand that's the reason it's a probable list not a confirmed list next you write ioc ioc i ioc IOCs because it's a list, right? That's why it's S because it's a list. IOC, IOCs because it's a list. So I'm reading IOCs. So IOC means indicator of compromise, full form. So IOC stand for IOC stand for indicator of compromise. Indicator, indicator, indicator. IOC stand for indicator of compromise. It's a list of it's a list of IP address. It's a list of IP address it's a list of IP address. ip address domain name domain name url email id hash values etc hash value etc it's a list of im ip addresses okay ip addresses email ids urls domain names has values etc because it's not one 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 it's a list right so you have to add s etc 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 which have been involved which have been involved in recent cyber attacks in recent cyber attacks which have been involved in recent cyber attacks which have been involved in recent cyber attacks 
understand right you have written which have been involved in recent cyber attack that means confirm list yes or no interview sometime sometime ask how do you monitor threat intelligence in your company how do you monitor ioc in your company what is ioc what is threat intelligence what is threat feed what is gt uh, gt global threat intelligence gti what is gti same threat feed only right gti means global threat intelligence gti means global threat intelligence threat intelligence global threat intelligence threat feed all are same only but different word right so it's a probable list while ioc the confirmed list which have been involved in any kind of recent cyber attacks understand so this particular rule is based on the threat feed we are creating yes or no yes. threat feed and threat feed what is the based on the ip address this rule is based on the ip address we are creating right <clears throat> so